So we did a barbecuing video today, got the barbecue on, got shorts on for the first time this year, very excited by all this. And I thought we'd cater to the vegetarians and vegans amongst you, or people who just want to eat more vegetables, because you get a lot of stuff for meat on barbecues, don't you? And I think people sometimes struggle a bit with veggie sort of things. So we're going to do a little bit of cooking of three different vegetarian and vegan dishes. The first of which is sort of chilli butternut squash things, I don't know, I've not given it a name. So first of all you need a butternut squash or some kind of other squash, there's other squash available, it doesn't have to be butternut, but butternut's easy and I like it. You don't have to peel it but I'm going to because I want to feed the worms my delicious butternut squash peel that I know they're going to enjoy and love my wormery. You can do that too if you've got a wormery. Once you've peeled it you can top its head and feet off or whatever you call these bits and then you can slice it in half right down the middle. There's seeds inside which you need to scoop out so you can do that. You can either throw the seeds away if you like or you can do what I'm going to do and try and plant four and see if I can grow some butternut squash plants. I don't know if it'll work or not but we're going to give it a go. Those need to go inside on the window ledge though because it's going to be too cold outside for them. Next we're going to cut the squash into slices about one to two centimetres, maybe one and a half to two centimetres in thickness, whatever that looks like, that's about as thick as you want. If you don't want it too thick, it's going to be hard to cook uh, and the outside is going to get burnt while the inside is still going. So this is, this is basically how thick I'm going to go. Next we're going to make a sort of chilli thing that we're going to put on top of it. We're going to chuck in a few cloves of garlic, because I like garlic, garlic's very nice. A handful or two of fresh coriander, which we're going to chop up a little bit. Going to chop up the garlic too, I forgot to mention that, but you probably guessed that from the pictures. A couple of tablespoons of cumin seeds, some salt, some pepper, juice of one lime, bit of olive oil and then a chilli of your choosing. I've used chipotle, a dried chipotle, I believe that's how you pronounce it, peppers that I've rehydrated for 20 minutes and I'm boiling water over them. Uh, I quite like them, I quite like the smoky flavour and I'm hoping that's going to be quite nice in this sauce. We're going to mix or grind them up, I've sort of tried grinding them a bit but then I couldn't be bothered to do it properly so I've just got quite a sort of lumpy sort of paste but hopefully that'll be, that'll be alright and then we're ready to cook. I should talk about how you start a barbecue really. I use one of these things, I don't know what you call it, and you put coals in the top and a bit of cardboard, because everyone's got cardboard at the minute, because everyone's getting loads delivered off the internet because you can't get outside. So loads of cardboard uh, under there, set fire to it, and it just burns up nicely, gets the coals nice and hot. Then you pour them out, put on other coals over the top, because you probably won't get enough in there to get a good barbecue going. You're not ready to go immediately because you've got to wait for the other coals to get hot, the new ones. What you want is no flames, nothing like that. You want all the coals to be fairly white hot, and then not too, too hot a barbecue because otherwise you're going to struggle. But if you've got a barbecue like this that's got different levels of it, you can just move it up and down if it's getting too hot or not hot enough. So before we cook, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil over the squash. I'm going to brush that on as we go through. I wonder if I put it on there. Is that going to break the plate? Will it be all right, do you think? Let's find out. It's quite high risk, this. I think this is going to go wrong. I'll lean against it. I'm just going to brush this, brush the oil on the squash and then pop it on the grill. Brushy, brushy, grilly, grilly. We need the squash to cook. I don't know how long it feels like it's done. Just checking, turning it every now and then, check it's not getting burnt underneath. Next up, we're doing maple syrup, sweet potatoes. Got a bit of butter in here and some maple syrup. I'm just gonna put that on there for a few seconds so it can start melting a little bit and, and making up a nice little sauce. Let that go off in the background and I'll talk you through the sweet potatoes. This is a simple one. Get some potatoes, start peeling them, cut your finger on a knife if you're left too close to the shopping board. Go inside, get a plaster, come back out and carry on peeling the sweet potatoes. The peelings can go in the wormery as before and then you're going to slice the potatoes into one to two centimetre slices just like we did but now we've got to parboil them. Take them inside Put them in hot salted water, boiling salted water for about six minutes or so and then take them out, drain them and let them cool down. We've got them here, we're doing the same thing as before, just giving a little rub with oil, olive oil that I've put on and we're just going to pop them on top of the grill. I do like barbecuing and I do like it when you do veggie bits on it because quite often it can just be a bit of a meat fest can't it? So, I always like to do a little bit of meat and a little bit of veggie stuff, partly because my wife's pescatarian, so she doesn't really eat meat. The last dish we're going to do is called a hobo pack. All you need for this is some kitchen foil and whatever veg you've got lying around really. 
It's basically put loads of stuff in foil and it goes down into the barbecue. Let's check in the cupboard and the fridge what I had and I've got some red onions so I'll chop that up nicely to put it in. Garlic I love so it goes in most things. We're going to pop a bit of garlic back in as well. We've got loads of these nice ripe tomatoes. So we're going to chop these in half, pop them in with it and some parsley as well. Literally just because it's one of the only things, only herbs I've got in the fridge. I think herbs generally brighten up most meals. Bit of pepper, bit of salt. Doing it in that order to mix it up because salt always gets to go first, doesn't it? I think balsamic vinegar always goes quite well with tomatoes. So we're going to pop a bit of that in and then a bit of olive oil as well and then fold it up into a parcel. When you're folding it, you do a few layers of this stuff and you want to make sure it's not going to leak. So fold it up and then try and get the seams sort of tucked away when you're doing the other lay layers. Then you've got a lovely parcel and that goes down in, the, in amongst the coals. It's actually sort of in, in the barbecue to cook itself nicely. So that will hopefully just cook away while you're doing all the other stuff on the grill on top. So we could turn the squash over now because I slightly worry about it burning. Uh, I've got it quite high up, so I might lower it down a level in a second, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's important as well to rotate the hobo pack every now and then because otherwise your hobo pack can just get cooked on one side and not on the other. I'm going to put a bit of salt and vinegar on the squash while we're here. And I might as well on the other thing as well. Always, always good, isn't it? Salt and vinegar? I mean salt and pepper. Don't put vinegar on it, that sounds disgusting. So we're getting near everything being ready now, so we're going to get this little spice mix we made earlier. I'm going to spread that over the butternut squash. I'm going to leave a couple of them spice free because I don't think the kids are going to want to eat chilli. Um, they probably won't eat butternut squash anyway so a waste of time but that's their business I guess. I'm just going to just rub that on let it cook for a minute or so each side. As you know what the kids aren't going to eat I'm just going to do them all. In a similar way we're going to do this with the butter and maple syrup thing. And we're going to brush all the sweet potatoes. Nice maple syrupy flavour. Then we're going to turn everything over and repeat on the other side. So squash first. Now the same with these sweet potatoes. Everything's looking just about cooked, so I'm going to get the ones that are ready off, put on a nice display plate, leave a few of the other ones that aren't cooked yet to carry on. We can have a look at what the meal looks like. Finally, got a bit of oven gloves, we're going to pull out our hobo pack, which has of course got coals on, so you've got to be careful. Shake it off a bit, you don't want to get burning embers on you. We start to unfold it a bit. bottom of here have our nice juicy cooked vegetables and that fair does look absolutely magnificent so there we go veggie barbecue things done let's test them first of all we'll try the butternut squash a bit hot Absolutely magnificent, the chilli's great. Might have done with a little bit longer on to be honest because it's a bit, a bit more solid than I like. I don't know, it's alright once you get further in. Yeah, that's really good. If you like chilli, that's worked out really well. Very pleased with how that's gone. Pick some more of those. Let's try the um, maple syrup sweet potato. Oh yeah. I make this quite a lot on barbecues and this is this is superb. I'm gonna stick stick making this. My go-to vegetarian barbecue thing. Hi Arlo. And then we'll try the hobo pack. Get a nice bit with a bit of tomato there. Really good. Onions nice as well. So got a bit of crunch to it. See around a bit of garlic. All of that is excellent. If you enjoyed this and want more cooking videos, let me know. I can do others, I can do meat as well. Just thought I should throw the ve vegetarians and vegans a bone. I mean, not literally, they wouldn't want that. Um, because I think they get a bit left behind on the cooking of this channel sometimes when we're doing smoke things. So we're gonna do that. If you want more things like this, let me know. If you're having a barbecue today, let me know in the comments what you're cooking. Maybe try some of these, because they've worked out really well 
Yeah, have another one of these, because they're well nice.